Hello, welcome back to Pine, where we're about to go put this beagle-like cap on the top of this mountain. Which, you know, we did climb before we were ever meant to. And, you know, clearly we couldn't do what we were meant to do. Right, so, th the guy didn't stop the electricity sparks like he claimed he was going to. So, you know, we've got this whole jumping around in circles puzzle again to do, <laughs> but you know, um, I can still remember it, and you know, we can still cheese our way around it like I did before, <laughs> I can still remember how I cheesed it, so, you know, who needs to actually care about <laughs> turning off the electricity, you're probably not actually meant to, you are probably meant to do what I do, right, this is the worst platform because it was, um, Sometimes non corporeal. Okay. Seems to fit perfectly. Hopefully that'll do. Now, one last <laughs> visit to Brenu. Hopefully he's willing to talk about the blonder now. And, um, hmm. Hopefully we did speak to Brenu about the blonder before because. Oh, shit. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. It's fine. Just stopped moving completely. Yes, hopefully you'll talk to us now about the blunder. Even though, you know, he probably did fall. Okay. I mean, that's, that's a fine position to be frozen in, honestly. Right. So, you know, we might have um, done his quest. I don't know. If not, you know, he might send us on a glitch quest. We might self-lock the game by being out of order and all that. You know, there, there's always the potential that we could soft-lock the game. Okay, so we have no energy. I should eat something. Let's eat this bleaker thigh because, you know, we've got it. It gives us a lot of energy and also food. I need to loot you guys. As, as much as I do want to sort of jump on you, it wouldn't let me sprint. That's the main reason I ate. Not because we were almost dead. <laughs> but because we couldn't sprint. And, you know, that probably also means we can't dodge. Right. So let's re lead these chickens into the camp. Hi. I cannot see you at all. <laughs> nice. Nice invisible nature. Okay, you've joined the different herds. You, you gave away that hers by doing that. By stopping with them. <laughs> you, you led your entire race to extinction. Is this how the dodo died? Did they run to other dodos and then just be like, well, <laughs> we're safe now. And then all the dodos died. <laughs> I said, and then all the dodos died. Right. Someone's already looted that. Right. All the dodos died. Why did you drop wheat? Um, excuse me? Wow. Did you just eat your friends, Bobby? <laughs> Sorry, all the dodos must die. I, I know they're puzzles, but all, all must die for my loot because we have to loot this nonsense. <laughs> okay, we've got some interesting moves that are coming out, but I don't know if I'm necessarily triggering them. Your entire race is now dead because you came running to their aid very, very late. <laughs> I thought there was one that got away, but he, he came back. At the perfect opportunity. To, to give me his loot. Okay, so is there anyone else around to end the existence of and loot? Okay, so we're out of um, stamina again because, you know, I literally used it all up and, you know, you have to eat to gain stamina and be energised. Maybe being energised there seemed like there was a seam to oblivion there. It's a good job we didn't fall down that seam out of the world. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, um, I guess. 
maybe the better moves that we're doing is because we're energized and you know when you're not energized you don't get the good combat moves which is probably why most of the time i'm just doing the same old basic combat moves because i'm not bothering being energized right so one more orb for grob is all we need i i want to find that i should maybe venture off the path a bit so we can try and find an orb somewhere that we haven't been that would probably be sensible. Hi! <laughs> You're gonna speak to me now? Mm. Mm. Your presence here must remain. The world could die. Yep, you fit perfectly. I hope you now see the wisdom of the mountains too. Some issues are bigger than ourselves. You know, I just even. That sounds like. Indeed, you're asking me what the role of the Cubans was during the Paris time, no? Yes, or anything else that you can think of. It was when you and the Tomberg did that. To bring everyone on the island together and all the second issue. Mm, only three races showed up, not everyone on the islands. I see, that sounds rather straightforward. Just with everything you do, alright, think about your own tribe, Bianco. It's quite courage and selflessness. I'll go forth, save your people. You're on the right track, but be careful of standing in the way of others. Believe in yourself and all that. I uh, well, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Um. Maybe it wasn't too big of a skip, you know. Maybe everything else was <laughs> meant to be done for the knowledge of the Ronda first, but you know, it kind of feels like that was correct. Um, he didn't give me a reward. He just just like go save your people now. The reward is knowledge. So you know, I feel like that was meant to be the last one. He was like the holdout on the knowledge, and um, <laughs> you know, he wasn't gonna give it to us. But okay, so high priest of some race. I guess we'll go to that because you know, there's there's literally no other big quest highlighted, and you know. I'm not going to run around doing a million side quests for no reason. But we will loot everything on the way, as we always do. And, you know, maybe craft what we can. But I don't think we necessarily need to craft any foods or anything. So, you know, I'm not that concerned. But the less beaten path we can take, the better. Because that might give us the orb. And... It's probably literally the last orb in the world, but who would have a clue where that might be? <laughs> who could have a clue where that might be? Is the cue for the orb to show up. Because, you know, there's, there's something to that, but it's just the light. That would be our cue for the orb to be here. You know, randomly, which it really doesn't deserve to be. But, you know, we're still gonna keep an eye out for it. Okay, now we're finding exhausters. Pride Rock. Okay, there's something there. But it's not an orb, right? Okay, this is where we, um. Oh, the Croco's mad at us now. Where we went inside for the High Shamans thing. Crocos, you're probably all mad at me now, aren't you? Um, Child of the Warrior, find the height. Yeah, you are mad. Y'all need to chill. <laughs> Y'all need to chill out a bit, mate. It's not that bad. <coughs> I thought we'd slide down the mountain better than that, but apparently not. Okay, yes, I've got all this food. I should eat something. Let's eat the beetroot because it literally is there. Okay, I might hunt these creatures. Because, you know, they're here. I thought you guys were running this way for a moment there. You can't run. 
Nice, nice stop there, by the way. Okay, you're a daddy one. I'm sorry. I hate to murder little creatures, but, um, you know, it's just the way of the game. <laughs> Your parent is dead. I would, I would run. You can live. You're just a child. I don't hunt children. But I do extinct the dodo race because you're dumb as fuck. <laughs> okay, you two can go breathe. Sure. But, you know, if you hang about whilst the rest of your race are getting killed and you're like, no, you're, you're just going to get killed yourselves. Honestly. <laughs> okay. It's not a smart thing to do. It really isn't. You know, if someone is killing everyone around you, either stop them or run. Don't hang about mourning. You know, you can mourn on your own time when you're safe. Not then. What is that? And I'm not talking about the Lunardos. This flower looks weird. Oh, it's um, beetroot. <sighs> Hi there, dodos. Dummy dodos. Get oh, you're not even running. You're not even... Okay, you run. <laughs> you run. Have some intelligence. I'm breeding intelligence into this race, whether they like it or not. The intelligence gets to live. The, the dumb asses do not. <laughs> if you're dumb like that, you, you're going to go extinct. If you learn to become intelligent creatures, then you will get to live. But as it stands at the moment, they, they ain't living. Hi, Croc. Don't mind me. It's a shame that none of those give you an instant um, friendship gauge to see, you know, just just how close we are to being. Yes, my pouch is full, I've gathered. Which is why I came to this, I was like, eh, we're probably, you know, going to need to drop off some things. Okay, so you like bones. Um, you like bleaker thighs, but I ate one. You like the elephant meat, so I hunted a lot of those. Okay, um... I'll make you neutral, you know, I'll take that for now. And, you know, keeps the the caribou people. I know that's not the, the caribou. <laughs> how, how dare I actually call them caribou? The caribins will be very, very neutral still, rather than aggressive. This looks like um, the sort of place that might hide a orb. Hi. <laughs> My orb senses were tingling. And they paid off. It's funny you should have this. Hi. Don't mind me. Don't don't get mad at me. Okay. You're glowing. You, you have a nice glow about you, good sir. You don't want to speak to me, huh? Okay, but, you know, if I come round here, we have the fresh to forward the study of the materials. But you're not going to let me trade, are you? What do you even have? You do have a lot of fresh foods. Um, skull idea... It doesn't tell me what level they are. Skull horns. Spiritual headwear crafted by the crockers. You're probably not going to let me trade with you, are you? Honestly. Um, sure, have... My words, even though, you know, other races might prefer it. You like those chives, huh? Give me... Give me my wood back, then. I don't trade with friends! I knew it. It's annoying and stupid. Oh, hi, you've also got some key graphite, even though, you know... <laughs> We've got all this graphite and natural things to use it on. I do see this hole in the wall here. But, you know, interesting. What could be on the other side? Nothing. 
It's just, just nothing. What is that? Sorry. There's some sort of idea going on over there. I need to investigate that because that's... I'd probably just grab, right? Another orb. Wow. You're spoiling me now, aren't you? <laughs> With all of these orbs. You know, it's like, you you look for one, three come along at once. It's like, <laughs> you know, why, why don't they just wait and space them out? <laughs> so that they they come, you know, more naturally rather than, you know, late and then all at once. That AoE is just why I don't bother something much. It's like, you might as well just... Now we might want to ease up. How do I block again as well? I That's a kick. <laughs> That's shields, okay. Because I haven't been using my shields and that might be, you know, where we're going wrong. Don't mind me, I'm just um learning to actually fight. Kitty. No. Okay. <laughs> Kinda close? Okay, my pouch is too full. So let's eat something like this aubergine. To give me room for it. Okay, we still need to eat some more. I mean, I will eat your thigh as well, just because, you know, it lets me grab your antennas as well. But then we're still too full. Okay, is there anything that I can eat that, you know, will allow us to... Everything's too nutritious, you know. <laughs> Screw it. We don't... I mean, the essence is more rare than a lot of the other things. So I should really, like, you know... Who cares about some of this stuff? Like, we can get this leather anywhere. Without fighting things. Your essence... And the antennas, you know, we have to actually kill you guys to get that. So, okay, my sword is already out. Okay, so it was saying in the tooltips, like, you know, they're bouncy. <laughs> you know, you can use them as jump pads. But apparently that was a lie. Okay. <laughs> I do like that move. I should, you know, maybe practice that move. Hi. Hi, Croc. Don't mind me. I'm just losing. Right, so we've got this orb already, so it's nothing interesting. See, the trouble is, you know, you then don't want to waste your energy sprinting because, you know, you want to use it for your moves, but you also want to traverse quicker. Right. We need to find a box to drop off literally everything in, which, you know, it's a, it seems a waste. You really need a good way of blocking that, otherwise it's like, you know. Right, that's just a bleaker thigh, bleaker thigh. But again, you know, is bleaker thighs are probably worth more than some of the other stuff, right? So let's eat these carrots. Eat, eat the carrots. Okay. Strange that I had to actually click on it with that time, but you know. Every other time we've done it, it just meant, you know, just pressing the button that I was pressing before. But I had to press A whilst holding it that time to eat them. <laughs> Let's not question it. 
let's not question it. You know, we break the game enough that we don't need to worry. Okay, Crocs. I mean, honestly, you like some of this stuff, so you like those, which is why I kept hold of those. Um, you dropped down a lot. Why? Why have the chickens got so friendly with us all of a sudden? Okay, um, elephant meat. I probably ate. Um, I don't have any bones for you, but you know. Some people value those. Waddle tooth blah blah. I don't know if that's necessarily useful to anyone. Sure, have some cones. Have my glass. I, I can make more. Dull rocks. Sure. I know that some people do value them a lot though, but you know why not? Have these flowers. They're food. They're useful. Have my beetroot. Okay, I'm trying to get them into friend zones here. I know it's making other things hostile, but, you know, I can always make them friendly again as well. I'm trying to keep whatever's, like, most valuable as well so that we got that right, so. Okay, that's good, you know, it's sent some people deeply into the hostile territory but you know if we make literally everyone down at the bottom hostile and then build them back up <coughs> you know they're less affected by you know the the swings and roundabouts of the trading so that that could be a method of getting everyone up there you know if you min max and figure out which exact ones get affected by who and then you know make sure that you've made it so that the ones that mostly get hostile from certain things uh like at the bottom whilst you build up the others and then you know try and mitigate losses from there when you're building everyone up rather than just you know balancing everyone around which is probably the harder thing to do than just like bottoming everyone out and then changing it hi we should be friendly yes we, we good hi don't mind me i'm not coming to attack you beagle lights okay i mean you know you said you used so much on the cone but you literally just used one piece i guess but you know if it's that rare i mean i've just found some maybe it's go home oh my god it's go home isn't it it's literally go home and talk to our people <laughs> and maybe accidentally complete the game I'm guessing right yeah there's a checkpoint on our home and then there's this okay so it might be grob it might actually be grob but there is a checkpoint to go home as well <laughs> so <laughs> let's do that whilst we're over there like you know we, we got this quest to do over there Hi, Chicken Lords. I'm a prince again. I know you're not the same person, but, you know, I'm sure you would appreciate my princely nature because I'm wearing another one of those princely ornaments around my neck after giving it to the other person or, you know, somehow using it up. Is this your trading box? Sure. Okay. I realise I haven't looted that much extra, but let's um let's do it like they the creatures of the crocodilius species have you know got up a lot so i don't have a lot that you might be interested in right so have my hay have my hay um you're not interested in feathers really ridge fennel dull rocks people are interested in these so, you know, Toothstone, again, there's a race that's interested in that. Some beagle, I'm going to keep that because it's, you know, pretty rare, apparently. <laughs> so it's mine now until, you know, we can maybe craft some stuff. We can probably craft some things, but, you know, have I been paying attention to that? No. no can I smash these barrels? I cannot. They're just for show. Okay. Um, okay, chill. I didn't mean to try and smash your barrels. I didn't realise there was a race of people living here. 
at the time. Reggie Box. I will gladly end the aggression. Okay, so some more key graphite. Again, there's very few boxes to use these keys on, or I've, you know, literally found one, maybe two. And <laughs> so much key graphite. Like, we can make so many keys. In fact, I have a lot of keys. I have so many keys. Okay, so I can't make any more key graphites. Okay, so what equipment have I got on? I've got on some level 3 braces, some level 2 pants, level 3 sleeves, but I'm not wearing. But, you know, they're the same as those, I guess. Um, level 2, level 2... And we got a level one shield. Okay. Then, you know, these are basic tops, but we got a better top than that, which is a level two one. Okay, so if I then look at the crafting. So that's a level three thing. Okay, so I need sandstone, dry clay, slick pearl. Okay, um, I used the pearl for my pointless necklace didn't I yeah I could have made that oh well um so we can make a better bow we can make some travel kits antler mask which needs lean iron which you know we can make some daffodils which again we can make the rope we can make okay so we can actually make that potentially and limits, but you know, we've got level three. Level four! Okay, so that needs Lunados, some bleaker antennas, some bottle tubes, blah blah. Julica. We need Julica, really. Julica is what we're missing, right? So, you know, we should start making level four stuff, but we need to figure out what this Julica is and, you know, how we get it. I don't know where we get Julica. I've never seen it. Maybe some places might sell it. Hi, I'm really sorry, but... Get out of here! Sorry. Okay, if you're actually going to run, I'm not going to chase you. I'm going to loot this first. You know, we've got some elephant leather. Is there nothing else to loot? I'm sure I saw something else to loot, but... You know, I'll slowly make my way... He stops in the middle of nowhere. You're dead as well. Okay, well, you go ahead and stop. I'll just... Why waste all my effort running when you're literally going to stop for me? Okay, where did he stop? There he is. Hi. I could hear you moaning. Sorry. I will... <laughs> I'll rectify things. I'll make it right. This is your box, correct? <laughs> Let's be friends. Why can't we all just be friends? Oh, this is um Egg People. Egg People... More than I. <laughs> are our friends. Um... You know, they, they're, well, they're, they might be friendly with us. They're at least neutral with us. They're not, you know, they don't hate us. They're not our enemy. They, they might be competition, but we haven't pissed them off, right? We haven't pissed off the Egg Kim, have we? <laughs> Is this a delivery box? It's not. Bus. It's the entrance to a village. Oh, no, it is. But it's for the crocodilios. Okay, who, you know, are our friends. So, honestly, let's go see what you've got in the shops. Because, you know, what else are we going to do other than buy your trash? And, you know, where, where's your shopkeeper, man? Hello, my crocodilio capitan. Where's your shop? Down here? Okay, thanks. <laughs> thanks for the info, buddy. 
Hi there. I'm your friend now. But I have to come round your thighs to um <laughs> to get to you. Okay, so I don't care about the heels. Let's get your spiritual headwear and um don't shake your head at me, good sir. <laughs> I do have some meat you might like. I do have some leather you would love. And um in which case, what what do you have for me? Travel kits that take me to Tambas. You've got Crocker Raid Flares. That's expensive though, isn't this? Okay. Well, you liked these Telkin types as well, didn't you? Okay. Is that good? Seems like scales in your favor. No, it's balanced. My good sir. You, you wanted that extra bit of wood. Okay. <laughs> Good, good for you. That that extra little bit of wood made all the difference. Yeah. He can haggle. I'll give him that. He, he's an haggler. He can haggle the heck out of a transaction and make sure it's you know. He just wanted that extra bit of wood. He's like, those those scales. They look in your favour, that sir. Um, I just need a little some some to sweeten the deal. Just 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 something extra. I don't care what. Uh, have my log. Mm. The finest Yuletide log from your ass. Yes. Um, that that'll do nicely. Okay, so we're on top of Grob's Mountain, I guess. But we'll be back next time. So that's watching. Goodbye.